I think it would be nice if Arsenal could get a, get a body in, in January, but I think it's unlikely. I think they should focus on the summer in terms of that strengthening, strengthening that area. I mean, I, I think one guy they, they should or you know, they could look at is, is Dominic Solanke at, at, uh, at Bournemouth. I mean, 12 goals this season. I know it's his first really prolific season in the Premier League, but you know, there's so much to like about him, so many fantastic qualities. You know, physically, you know, people talk about what Ivan Toney could bring Arsenal physically, but... Slanky again is is very physical player, very quick, very strong, good in the air, mobile, able to hold the ball up, and also he's he's a real machine when it comes to pressing, which is obviously such an important thing for these elite sides. You know, he he wins the ball high up the pitch. He he ranks second only to Hyung Min Son in terms of pressures in the final third this season. So I think he is kind of tailor made for an elite side, Slanky really. And now that he's scoring consistently as well, you know, he's become a very very attractive proposition. Of course. He's very happy at Bournemouth, it seems. He signed a new contract in September, so it wouldn't be easy to get him out of the club and, um, and, and it would be expensive, of course, but he's a guy I think Arsenal you know, he could and should potentially look at, maybe not for January, but perhaps for the summer. OK, but how do Arsenal's stats stack up? What's the comparison from this season to last season where they went so close but yet so far? Well, it feels like a very different picture from where they were at this stage last season. After 20 matches last season, Arsenal had 50 points and topped the Premier League by five points. But cut to this year, 10 points down on that tally, and have scored eight goals less. <clears throat> Bakayo Saka has remained Arsenal's biggest threat, been a consistent provider with goals and assists this season. But Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Martinelli and Martin Odegaard are all contributing less than they had done at this stage last season. Now, Jesus has missed matches due to injury, but the drop-off in goals from Martinelli in particular has been a real concern, just two so far this season. Benched against Liverpool at the weekend. A big part of last season's success was the fact that these players exceeded their expected goals tally. But this season, all of these players' expected goals tally has been fairly low. Martinelli's, in particular, just 2.5 so far this season. And so the underwhelming stats from Martinelli and Jesus, who's just got one in the Premier League so far this season, part of the reason why there's been such an outcry for Arsenal to sign a striker this month.